Hello. Today I will show you how to perform a static linear analysis on heavy equipment using the designer mode of Midas NFX. So the first step will be to import your model. So you click on new and import the CAD model you want to use. So this is the CAD model I will use. And uh, please check the lens unit to tr choose the right unit of your model. And if you check the search contact faces here option, it will automatically assign all the contacts between the parts when you import the model. So here is my model. So it's in fact it's already a quite complex model if you want to do it on conventional uh, CAE simulation. So if you go in the model, you will see. Uh, all the parts and at the moment one material has been assigned to all these parts and the contact uh, which are already defined automatically uh, 43 contacts between all these parts so the first thing I will do is to assign a material to this model so uh, I've already one material assigned but I will create another one so just go into the database of material and select the type of material you want to, to use. Let's say I will use an aluminum alloy. Okay, so you see it has been added here. And now to assign it to your model, you can directly drag and drop it on the parts where you want to assign it. So I will test this material on this part to see um, the stress inside this part. Now, now that I have done that, um, I have to verify that all the contacts between all the parts are well assigned. Uh, I have for the moment 43 contacts, so I can click on each contact and see it on the screen like that. But in fact, if you want to verify if all the contacts are assigned to all the parts, the best solution is to use uh, another feature. So you directly right click on your part and you can display the contact uh, assigned to this part. So here you see this part is linked with these two parts, then this part too, and this part. Now let's see this, this part. Here I have contacts between this part and these three piston. And if you check this part, it's linked with this part. Now, um, um, if you check this part, the piston, uh, you will see there is no link between the piston and this part. So this is due to the fact that there is a small gap between these two parts. So you have to assign manually the contacts for this, this kind of part. For that it's not uh, difficult. You click on contact and here you have manual option. So just um, select the contact type. So first I will use welded. Um, and master and slave contact face. So for the master contact face I will select these two parts these two faces and for the slave part these two faces. Now I have to create a contact parameter to assign the in initial tolerance uh, of the contact. So give a name, activate initial tolerance. Okay, then you have to choose it here. Click on apply. Do the same for this contact here. and here so master and here it's difficult to select the slave face so I will just go into the geometry and activate this part so now I can select these two faces and click on OK now go into the contacts to verify that your three contacts has been assigned correctly 
So now you have a welded contact between these two parts. You have also a welded contact between these two parts and, and here too. So it's okay. Now what I will do is a bit uh, of simplification on this model. If you look at more clear, you will see you have some fillets here uh, and some in other parts like on this face. So if you uh, directly mesh and do the analysis, you will get um, much... Uh, what I want to say that you will get much better results if you simplify a bit these fillets and it will not change much the results of the analysis. So we have a good feature which is the simplification feature. So you can do it with the holes, but here I have, will do it with the fillets. So I click on Find to see all the fillets in your model. And here I want to simplify the fillets which are here. Uh, and uh, so you can look at the value of the fillets. So let's see for 5 millimeter. Okay, uh, seems okay. So just click 5 millimeters, select all, remove. So there's only two, f a few fillets that the software didn't simplify. It's not very uh, important. It's mostly the fillets on this part. So if you want, you can do it manually. You can use the simplification function manual and here you can select all the fillets and uh, remove them but in fact it's not very annoying so I will just let it like that. And now I will assign some uh, loads and boundaries to this model. So I will just fix this part. So click on the support. Now I will select the phases I want to fix. Fix, okay, and I will assign a load to um, this face. Just uh, let's see. assign a load of minus two thousand newton in this. Oh, sorry. So if you got the wrong direction, for example, for the load here, um, you can directly select load and boundary and select again your load right click to edit it so here it's not z direction but it's y direction okay and now comes um, the meshing part of your model so Midas NFX is very easy to use and uh, the meshing is really simple just select all the parts and decrease a bit the size of the meshing. We don't need high order elements, so I'll uncheck that and click on apply. So now you see all my parts have been meshed. And I can uh, create an analysis case, linear static, and just solve it. So save it. Okay, now I got my results. So you see, for such a big model, uh, it only took 12 seconds to solve the analysis. Now, basically, you have three types of results for linear static analysis. The total displacement. Uh, you can view the animation. If 
here you see uh, the influence of the load and the form is a stress so as, as I said the part uh, which interests me is this part in fact so what I will do is uh, you select here all geometry you can directly select the part which interests you right click and you can show only this part to view the stress on this part you can use for example uh, the ISO surface to uh, check where the stress is big on this part so maybe where you will have to redesign the parts to make it bigger on these two uh, edges uh, now something I just want to uh, show you how it is easy to modify the contacts so uh, you remember I assigned the welded condition between these two pistons but a more realistic um, uh, condition would be the sliding contact. So Midas NFX can consider the sliding contact into the uh, into the linear static mode. So you just have to select again the contact and check the bidirectional sliding for these three contacts. Now let's say um, I would like to have a much more accuracy on uh, these parts because it's a quite important part for my analysis. So you can directly select the auto mesh again, select again your parts. You can um, decrease the mesh size to have better me meshes on this part. and you can directly launch again the analysis so it's as simple as that now again you can view the results on the part and the animation and um, let's say if you are interested to um, to view what is really going inside all that it's possible to uh, activate and unactivate the mesh elements so you can select a part of your model and hide the elements so you can really cut your model and see uh, the, the stress for example inside the parts uh, let's say I want to see only only this part So here you can view uh, the stress repartition, the stress distribution here. Okay, it's all for this tutorial. Uh, I hope that you um, you are interested to use NFX do such analysis and um, don't hesitate to contact me if you need the trial of NFX. Thank you.